Hello my guys, welcome to another episode. In this episode I have a product review. Finally, I get one of these professional scanners. This is gonna be the Ansel FX2000 professional scanner. The benefit on these ones, yes, they're a little bit more pricey, but this one can read everything on your vehicle. Not really expensive, but this is not one of the cheap versions. So, this is the new scanner. FX2000 Pro from Ansel. Really easy to use. You connect your OBD2 cable in here. In here, you connect it to the computer with a USB port. And on this little slot, you're gonna have your SD card. So you can record data, play it on the computer or play it in here. That's why it has the SD card. Also on the package, your OBD2 cable, USB cable, quick start guide, and on the bottom, the user's manual. So I'll tell you everything about your scanner. Also on the quick guide, it's gonna tell you how to do updates on the computer so you can have updates for life and it's gonna be up to date all the time for free okay so i figure i can do a little review on this one on my 2000 accord so i can show you what i get because this scanner like i said before is better because now that i work at home all the time it's gonna tell me everything about the cars if you go and purchase a car or you just try to read codes this scanner will tell you everything especially when you go buy a new car a new used car and you don't know what's in it if people try to hide or erase codes you can find them with this one first thing is to connect it before you turn the ignition on so now it's connected And then you turn the ignition on. So we're gonna go a little bit about it. I'm gonna show you everything because this is really good. You can see everything with this one. I was using this scanner yesterday just to get my hands around it and know more about the product. You have the arrows to go up and down, side to side, enter, go back. So in diagnose, we press enter, we can check for code, and this one will read really fast. Some other scanners that I used to have back in the day, they're really, really slow. This one, as you can see, reads everything really good. Okay, so it already read the car. We're gonna press enter to confirm. Now let's read codes. Let's see if we have any codes on the vehicle. No codes. My car is doing really good. I am readness. Press enter. And it's gonna read the whole car, which is misfire monitor, okay, fuel system, okay, comprehensive component monitor, catalyst monitor, everything is okay on the vehicle. Data stream, you can stream your data. You can select items that you wanna uh, look up in the vehicle. You can select everything that you wanna see. When you click enter on the first one, it's gonna select all of them. And press escape to confirm. Now it's going to check all the systems on your vehicle. You can go back on that one. Now what I'm going to do is scan my vehicle. The good thing about this scanner is the just select the vehicle that you have. We have here Honda. Press enter again. It's checking the whole vehicle. Press enter again. Okay, it's automatic or manual? Automatic. So actually it's reading every single component in the vehicle. And it's not gonna take too much time. Okay. Okay, now let's check on the engine. Press enter. 
system information easy uid okay let's see if we have any travel code no dtc code any other code no code engine is okay let's go back transmission let's see if my transmission is okay after i change some sensors i did some stuff to it obviously the first the system information is okay no DTC code, perfect. You can read data, you can select all of them. So it's gonna check the speed, uh, main shaft speed. It has so many things, pressure switch. It's gonna check everything for you on the transmission, which I'm gonna select everything if I wanna read everything and then escape to confirm. And there you have it. It's gonna check the speed of the vehicle, the counter shaft speed, main shaft speed, everything. So this is gonna be really good if you have transmission problems. It's gonna tell you exactly where your problems are. Now, let's check the ABS system. System information, yes, ACUID. Okay, we have any code. And we do have code, we have four my wheel speed sensor on the back passenger side is bad. Second code, same thing, wheel speed sensor. The right front outlet solenoid valve failure. I need to check into that, I don't know what it is. ABS control unit failure. Okay, my ABS is, something's going on with my ABS, so I had to check that. Okay, SRS system, this is very important. I want to see what's going on with my SRS. System information, we already know that. Read travel codes. We have any codes right now? Open or increase it resistance on in the driver airbag inflator. Well, I don't have airbag. As you can see, this is my problem. So we know that. Any intermittent code, which is not gonna give you a check in your light, but it's gonna tell you something else is wrong on the SRS system. Open and increase system, okay, the airbag. Faulty driver seat belt buckle switch. Okay, so my driver seat buckle is bad, so I need to check probably the, uh, the plug uh, driver airbag inflator, yeah, we all know that. Okay, so this is something that you can do with this type of scanners, more complete. I didn't know that I have problems with my buckle on my driver's seat. Um, I didn't know that I have problems with my wheel speed sensor. Okay. Settings, it has languages, unit of measure, beeper, and record mode. You can change all those settings. It has many, many languages. The unit in metric or imperial, the beeper, and the record mode. I think this is gonna be my new go-to because I definitely need it because I work on a lot of cars and sometimes, some of my friends, they even ask me to go in and check the cars for them before they make a purchase. This is gonna save them my head. Okay guys, to purchase in the scanner, I hope you take this on consideration, FX2000 Pro, because with this one you can find anything, anything wrong in the car. So I'll leave you with that, link is gonna be in the description for this scanner. And I hope you like my little review. If you have questions, please comment down below. I'm going to be happy to help. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. Peace. Mm.